โอเคที่ Republic of Honduras the state in Central America the capital the city of Tegucigalpa till 1880 Comayagua The country was also known in the past as the Spanish Honduras, for a difference from British Honduras, which became the state of Bali subsequently. Borders on Nicaragua in the southeast, El Salvador in the southwest, and Guatemala in the west. It is washed by the Caribbean Sea in the north and the Pacific Ocean. Fonseca Bay in the south. In direct translation from the Spanish Honduras, means depths. It agrees one of legends. The name of the country comes from Christopher Columbus's statement during his last fourth swimming in the New World in 1502. His ship got to a strong storm, and when it managed to escape, he said. c r o s s e s a Dios que h i m o s a l i d o de Jesus a n d u r a s Thank goodness for the fact that we left these depths. This phrase gave the name to the Cape of the Grace of God and subsequently Department of c r o s s e s a Dios and the country of Honduras. Honduras. Until the end of the 16th century, Honduras was called only east part of the open earth, in the neighborhood of the Cape of the Grace of God. Subsequently, the name passed all territory. Since ancient times, the territory of modern Honduras was inhabited by Indian tribes: a l e n k a Mosquito, Matagalpa, the Otomi, Manga, the Maya, a h i k a k a Language family of a chip. Living a primitive communal system. p o t s e c n o f i r e agriculture, hunting, and fishery were their major activities. In the second century, Ad Indians of group of tribes of the Maya forced out local Indian tribes on less fertile hillsides. Unlike radical Indian tribes. Maya had writing, new crafts, cultivated corn, created constructions from a stone, constructed roads, had strong and mobile army. In the territory of Honduras, there was one of the large centers of culture of the Maya, the city of Copan. However, in the 9th century, of the Maya, for not found out reasons, left this region on the peninsula Yucatan. In the south of modern Mexico. Ruins of the Copan were found by archaeologists in forest thickets of Honduras only in 1839. In 1502, the northern coast of Honduras was opened by Christopher Columbus, and in 22 years, full-scale conquest of the country began. A group of conquistadors sent to search of gold and silver by the conqueror of Mexico, Cortes, established in Honduras in 1524 the power of the Spanish king. Then, at the fields of silver found, them conquistadors founded several settlements, including Tegucigalpa, which in three centuries became the capital of modern Honduras. In 1536, Indians headed by the leader Lempire developed war, failure for Indians, of the minding Spanish colonialists. Lempire died as a result of a plot, his group was soon crushed and dissipated. From the middle of the 16th century, Honduras was a part of General Captaincy Guatemala. In Honduras, a feudal relationship, the leading role in which was occupied by a large Spanish land tenure, began to develop. By the beginning of the 18th century, the basis of the economy was extraction of silver, and the main mines were in the district of future capital of the state, Tegucigalpa. The Indian population died out from work on plantations in gold and silver mines. Indian revolts cruelly were suppressed. 
In the 17, 18th centuries, the Spanish colonialists increased delivery of black slaves from Africa. In the same time, two Honduras Spanish Indian metises from the neighboring Guatemala moved. In the 16, 17th centuries in the Caribbean Sea, the English, French, Dutch pirates actively acted. They repeatedly made attacks on the northern coast of Honduras. There are assumptions that the famous Captain Kidd stored the stolen treasures on islands near Honduras. In the same time on the northern coast of Honduras also new white settlers, British from runaway convicts appear. At the beginning of the 19th century, Honduras was the arena of fight in the all-American liberation movement of the Spanish colonies, and on September 15, 1821 declared the independence of Spain. During this period in Honduras, political parties, conservatives or large landowners, as well as liberals, party of the arising bourgeoisie between which competition as a result of which conservatives who managed to achieve accession of Honduras to the Mexican Empire in 1821 was started began to develop. In 1823 Honduras was a part of the connected provinces of Central America. However, an in-federation fight between the liberals supporting the federalistic form of government, destruction of class privileges, both implementation of a land reform and the conservatives defending maintaining privileges of large landowners, clergy, creation of the centralized state continued. In civil war which began soon after formation of federation the important role was played by the native of Honduras liberal Francisco Morrison who became a general. In 1829 the army under his command occupied the city of Guatemala. The federal constitution was restored and in 1830 Morrison was elected the president of the Central American Federation. Not stopping civil strifes led to disintegration of federation and in 1838 the Declaration on Independence of Honduras was proclaimed. As well as other republics of Central America. And in January, 1839 the first constitution of Honduras is adopted. The General Morrison considering himself still the head of Federation of Central America gained a foothold at first in El Salvador, then in Costa Rica, trying to restore by military force the power over all Central America. In 1842 he was taken prisoner by Hindurans and shot. In the next decades the history of Honduras or constant military conflicts with neighboring countries of Central America, internal civil wars. So, from 1845 to 1876 in Honduras there were 12 civil wars. Continuous military coups and counter coups, because of fierce fight between conservatives and liberals. At the end of the 19th century, foreign investments began to invest in Honduras. British, generally to the financial sector, and the USA, the American companies began to create large banana plantations and also to build in Honduras iron and highways to expand seaports. In May, 1954 there was a general strike of working banana plantations as a result of which, united from the companies, it was necessary to go for meeting requirements of workers. Presidential elections of 1954 were won by the Liberal R. The leader morales, however, results of elections were nullified and the Vice President J. Osano Diaz became the interim president. In the country disorders didn't stop. In October, 1956 army circles carried out a coup, 
and within a year in power there was a military junta. Elections in December 1957 were won by Valida Morales again. The leader's government with huge difficulties managed to nationalize one railroad, to enter the labor code, to prepare the law on agrarian reform. However, in 1960 the decree forbidding democratic additions was adopted. In 1961 diplomatic relations with the revolutionary government of Cuba are broken off. In October 1963 Valida's government was overthrown as a result of the military coup headed by the commander of armed forces of Honduras Colonel Osvaldo Lopez Aralano. In February 1965 the military junta held elections to National Constitutional Assembly. The victory was won by conservatives. In March, 1965, the Assembly proclaimed Lopez Aralano the president. Lopez Aralano carried out repressions concerning the democratic organizations, banned the activity of political parties, except for a ruling and liberal, entered censorship on the press. Manuel Zelay Rosales is the former president of Honduras. It is stripped of power by a court decision on June 28, 2009. In July 1969, between Honduras and El Salvador, the armed conflict known as Football War broke up. Consequences of the conflict forced Orellano to liberalize the mode several. In January 1971, liberal and nationalist. Conservative parties concluded the agreement under which in the country the two-party system remained. In June 1971 on a post of the president the conservative Ramon E. Cras entered. In November 1981 Honduras returned to civilian rule but strong influence of military on policy of the country remains. The Constitution since January 20, 1982 works in the state. In 1993 Carlos Roberto Reina, in 1998 Carlos Roberto Flores, in 2001 Ricardo Maduro, in 2005 Manuel Zelaya Rosales, the candidate of the Liberal Party became the president. His diplomatic relations with the Russian Federation are established with the Usr on September 13, 1990. On June 28, 2009, the President Manuel Zelaya planned to hold a national referendum on a possibility of re-election of the President for the second term. The organization of a referendum goes beyond powers of office of the president, and the constitution of this country unique in own way forbids even to state intention about re-election of the president. According to Zelaya's supporters, business consisted not in the second term, and in the question submitted for a referendum. Whether citizens agree that on November 29 during the general election on polling precincts will put one more ballot box that voters expressed the decision on convocation of the Constitutional Assembly for development of the new constitution of the country. In support of a referendum 500,000 signatures were collected. The Central Electoral Commission confiscated the bulletins and other materials prepared for a referendum. Then Zelaya personally headed crowd of the supporters, the stormed air base where there were confiscated materials to take them and to provide holding a referendum at any cost. In a week before Manuel Zelaya dismissed the Minister of Defense, the Chief of Staff of Armed Forces of the country, commanders of the Air Force, ground forces and marines who refused to provide holding a referendum. In 
the Supreme Court of the country recognized dismissals of military authorities and holding a referendum as illegal. The acts made by the President were estimated by the Supreme Court of Honduras as crime minds and order of public administration, excessive office powers, and high treason, and on June 26, 2009 the Supreme Court issued to the military personnel the warrant for his arrest. After that to the capital of the country troops began to be drawn up. In the morning on June 28, 2009 the beginning of a coup initiated by the President Zelaya was stopped. Divisions of armed forces of Honduras surrounded the presidential residence. According to the former president, he was arrested and brought to nearby air base. From there the being president was turned out on the territory of the neighboring state of Costa Rica. In the same day the Congress of Honduras appointed the interim president of the country of the chairman of the National Congress. Parliament of Honduras. Roberto Micheletti. The term of interim presidency of Micheletti was limited to the upcoming general election of the new president who entered a position on January 27, 2010. The union was unconditionally supported by Zelaya, demanding his reinstatement of the president. The Organization of American States delivered to the authorities of Honduras the ultimatum that if not to reinstate Zelaya, then Honduras will be excluded from their lists. Nevertheless on July 4, 2009 the authorities of the country declared an exit from OAK. Presidential elections were won on November 29, 2009 by Porfirio Lobo, from the National Party, having received more than 56.5% of votes. The spike followed after this political amnesty to all participants of the events connected with attempt of illegal change of the Constitution of Honduras, the systematic efforts of the newly elected president directed to rehabilitation Zelaya weren't crowned with success as charges of corruption were brought to the last. As for Roberto Micheletti, the Congress of Honduras declared him the national hero and appointed the life member. The court of the country dismissed on May 2, 2011 all charges to Zelaya. In particular, the judgment from it dismissed charges of fraud and falsifications of documents as the court considered that they illegally are crossed with civil law. On May 29 Manuel Zelaya returned home. In July 2011 the Truth and Reconciliation Commission during the made investigation of circumstances of discharge from the power of the former president recognized that concerning a military coup was committed. Honduras is located in Central America and occupies a northern part of the Central American Isthmus. In the south Honduras borders on Nicaragua, in the west on Guatemala, in the southwest on El Salvador. In the north and the east it is washed by the Caribbean Sea and its Honduran Gulf, in the southwest leaves to Fonseca Bay in the Pacific Ocean. Also numerous islands in the Caribbean Sea and Fonseca Bay, including the remote islands of Swan River in the northeast or a part of the country. The most part of the territory is made by the uplands. Up to 2870 m high. But by mainly Archean crystal and metamorphic rocks, and in the south, Cainozoic lavas. Honduras is located on the extensive plateau which is crossed from the east on the west by mountain chains. Tomiyaba and Opalaka with the highest point of the country, the mountain of Cerro Las Minas. M. 80% of the territory of Honduras are covered with mountains, and lowlands meet generally only along the coast. 
A deep tectonic valley divides the massif from the north into the south, from a river Eula source to Fonseca Bay. Its length from the Caribbean coast to the Gulf is 280 km, and the highest point of her bottom that means an intra-valley watershed of basins of two oceans, reaches 940 m above sea level. Are the two largest rivers of Honduras, Patuca and Aiguan. The largest lake of the country is Yacoa. Along the coast of the Caribbean Sea Plains, San Pedro Sula and the Mosquito Coast are located. Generally boggy. On the northern coast there are banana plantations. On the Pacific coast the flat zone is also located. In the northeast and the lowland there is La Mosquitia's jungle which was recognized as the World Heritage of UNESCO and also National Park of Rio Platano. In total in the country there are 17 national parks. The highest point. Cerro Los Minas minus 2870 m. The lowest point. The Atlantic slash Pacific Ocean minus 0 m. Natural wealth. Wood, gold, silver, copper, lead, zinc, iron ore, antimony, coal, fish and hydraulic power. Use of the earth in the state. The arable land minus 15%. Lands on the constant harvest eve minus 3%. Lands under constant pastures minus 14%. Reserves and forests minus 54%. Lands under other purposes minus 14%. The climate of the country is characterized as tropical passatney with sharp differences in an amount of precipitation on Navaterreni. Northern and east. And leeward slopes of mountains. Seasonal temperature changes are insignificant. Average monthly temperatures on lowlands from plus 22 C to plus 26 C, on uplands from plus 10 C to plus 22 C. The Caribbean coast and other areas of the Republic up to the height of 800 meters belong to a hot zone, so-called, a tira to a caliente, and the main part of the country lies in a moderate and hot zone. A tire of a template. In internal areas of the territory of the country and in the south of rainfall drops out much less, and the rainy season falls on May-October. On the Pacific coast the most damp months from September to January. On average in the country of rainfall about 1300 May year drop out. Destructive tropical hurricanes are frequent. As a result of the Hurricane Mitch of 1998, nearly 80% of crops were destroyed, about 8,000 people died, and nearly 20% of the population remained homeless. The capital of Honduras, Tegucigalpa, the largest city in the central part of the country with the population of 1,682,725 people including the suburb Kameyagua. 2006. The second most important city of the country, San Pedro Sula. The population. 491,000 people. This city was founded by Pedro de Alvarado originally as San Pedro de Port Caballos, on June 27, 1536. This city inhabits about one million people, and it is known as the industrial capital of the country. With Massachusetts' cultivation of culture of bananas and construction of the railroad, 
at San Pedro Sula the effective takeoff which led to intensive migration inflow from different parts of the country, Central America and even the Middle East was outlined. Now the city has infrastructure of the whole modern city. The third city on importance in the country, La Seba. This city was founded on August 23, 1877 and now Atlantis is the main town of department. As well as San Pedro Sula, La Seba is obliged by the development to banana plantations at the end of the 19th century. Now this city, one of the most important tourist centers of the country. Other of the main towns of Honduras, Puerto Cortes. This port founded on the Caribbean coast of the country has the most modern equipment and it is considered one of the most equipped in Central America. Because of its geographic location, Puerto Cortes turned into one of the safest ports in the world and received the Certificate of Safety from Department of Safety of the USA. The city of Comayagua is in the heart of the country, at the height of 1650 meters above sea level. The city was founded by the captain Alonso de Caceres in 1537. For decades he managed to keep lines of colonial architecture. Once Comayagua was the capital of Honduras, and it is an important part in the history of the country. The city inhabits more than 60,000 people whose major activities are the cattle breeding and agriculture. The most important city of the southern part of Honduras, Caluteca. It is the city which also is and by the administrative center of department of Chalutec it was founded in 1522, however he acquired the status of the city much later, in 1845. The name of the city comes from the word Chalutec, designating nationality. Chalutec's population of more than 100,000 inhabitants who devote themselves to agriculture and trade with the neighboring country, Nicaragua. In administrative department of Yoro there is a city of El Progreso. Importance of the city results from its strategic location and commercial development of the last years. The city was used by travelers, tourists and businessmen as a binding point between the most important cities of Honduras. The city economy is based on agriculture, cattle breeding and also on production and trade in fabrics. In 65 came from the capital of Honduras of Tegucigalpa there is a city of Yuscaran. This city was the main center of mining industry in the 18th-19th centuries, at first for the Spanish crown, and after independence finding, for the American mining companies. In 1979 the Honduran government the city was announced by a national monument. Today more than 200 colonial houses remained, paying a tribute to the historical past of Yuscaran. In Yuscarana from sugar beet produce alcoholic drink to an agardienta enna simply, in translation, the burning water. Hot and damp lowlands of the coast of the Caribbean Sea and adjacent slopes of mountains were covered earlier with dense tropical rainforests which are partially destroyed now. Above, in mountains where temperature is lower, there are oak and pine forests in western. Is more rare in central. Parts of Honduras in mountain forests defer Guatemalan meats. In droughty internal areas, including the district of Tegucigalpa and area on the south and the east, the area it is covered with the grassy savanna and the rare undersized woods. There are valuable breeds of trees, especially there are a lot of them on extensive, almost impassable plain of the jungle of La Mosquitia. National Park of Rio Platano
and on slopes of surrounding mountains. On all territory of the country a large number of wild animals is found, some of them escape thanks to weak population. In this country meet both usual for Central America, and rare species of animals. Bears, different types of deer, monkeys, wild pigs and bakers, tappers, badgers, coyotes, wolves, foxes, jaguars, pumas, lynxes, ocelots, rare black panthers and there are a lot of other, smaller types cats. Also reptiles, alligators, crocodiles, iguanas and snakes, including poisonous. Treat the last deadly AK Zaka and a Coscabella. And also anteaters, kota, idlers, battleships, and a king kazalif. The rich avifauna includes a wild turkey, a pheasant, parrots, including the macaw, a heron, a toucan, and a large number of other types. According to the Constitution of 1982, Honduras is a unitary presidential republic. The principle of division of the authorities is declared. Executive power belongs to the head of state, the president elected by the population for the only four-year term. The president also heads the government. The government includes the state ministers. There are also three vice presidents. Legislature, the National Congress consisting of 128 deputies elected by the population for four-year term. Judicial authority is presented by the Supreme Court consisting of nine dicks and seven deputies and also local courts. The chairman and members of the Supreme Court are elected by the National Congress. According to Economist Intelligence Unit, the country in 2018 was classified under the index of democracy as the hybrid mode. Following the results of elections of Parliament in November 2013, the National Party of Honduras derived 48 deputies. Freedom and Revival. Libra. The left 37 deputies. The Liberal Party of Honduras centrist 27 deputies. Anti-corruption party populist 13 deputies. Party of Democratic Unity the left 1 deputy. The Christian Democratic Party is the centrist 1 deputy. Party of Updating and Unity the left centrist 1 deputy. Since 1971 the territory of Honduras is divided into 18 departments and one central federal district. The head to whom heads of municipalities, which only 298 submit heads each department. Nino affairs of 3731 settlements and 27969 villages of the country. Central Federal District which is formed by the capital of the country Tegucigalpa and its suburb of Camaygal located on other river bank cope special laws. Dynamics of population minus 1.534 million. 1950. 7.4 million. 2007. 8.0 million. Assessment for July 2010. Annual gain minus 1.9%. Fertility minus 3.2 births only woman. Average life expectancy minus 69 years at men, 72 years is at women. Urban population minus 48%. Contamination of HIV minus 0.7%. Assessment for 2007. Languages Spanish. Official. Are used Indian languages.
religious structure. 2013 47% Catholics, 41% Protestants, other 3%. 8% of the population declared not religious themselves, didn't answer a question with 1%. From 1995 to 2013 the number of Catholics dropped by 30%. From 77 to 47%. Is an anti record among all countries of Latin America. Literacy minus 80%. On a census of 2001, the political instability and lack of means of communication slowed down education distribution, and according to official figures 1995 app, 27% of adult population it was illiterate. The free and compulsory education for children aged from 7 up to 12 years is entered, many of them are forced to throw school to earn a living. Visit of school isn't strictly obligatory. At high schools 31% of teenagers of the corresponding age group are registered. The National Autonomous University of Honduras in Tegucigalpa exists since 1847. The number of students in 1996 was up. People. In Samorano, the Pan American School of Agriculture, the higher educational institution training experts in the field of tropical agriculture is open. In 1978 in Tegucigalpa, the private university was open. Honduras, very underdeveloped country of Latin America in the economic plan which economy is depending on economy of the USA. The largest trade partner of Honduras. And also from fluctuations of the world prices for the main export goods. First of all, on bananas and coffee. In 2009, the DD of Honduras was estimated at $33.1 billion. $4,200 per capita, the 142nd place in the world. In 2008, 59% of the population were behind officially established poverty line. Unemployment rate. In 2009, minus 6%. is a result of a series of devastating hurricanes and floods in 1998, 2001 Honduras suffered huge material losses. In this regard, a number of the donors dead to Gordon due to the Gens of Consultative Group on Central America began to render to Honduras the regular economic help in the sizes from $300 to $600 million a year in 2006 its volume was estimated at $490 million. The basis of the economy of Honduras is made by the industries of the agro-industrial sphere, export goods specializing in production. Bananas, coffee, sugar, tropical fruit, palm oil, tobacco products, beef and ice creams of seafood. Mainly shrimps. And also enterprises for their processing. More than a half of all economically active population is engaged in them. The rest of the efficient population is involved at the enterprises for wood procurement, production of furniture, household utensils and also construction materials. Traditionally in Honduras two types of economy coexist. One of them is characteristic of areas of colonial settling within the central uplands, another, of the Caribbean coast where the American banana companies created own enclaves about export plantations. In areas of agriculture of a plantation of the American companies use the most modern methods of production, and for service of plantations and export of products the network iron and highways is built. 
the uplands of the country remain isolated and inert economically. The basis of the economy of the central mountainous areas is made by the mining industry and natural agriculture. Big estates which exist since a colonial era here specialize mainly in cattle breeding. National currency, Honduran Lempira. It is introduced into circulation in 1931 and called in honor of the Indian leader. The minimum wage in Honduras varies depending on the sector and he makes the number of workers since January 1, 2020 from 6,762.7 Olympus. $275.37 to 12,357.84 Lempiris. Dollar 503.20. In Honduras since January 1, 2020, salary less than 17,123.50 Lempiris. Dollar 697.26. A month aren't assessed with income tax. In recent years with assistance of the state, tax benefits, the target credits, fight against illegal delivery of cheap food goods from neighboring countries. The branches of agriculture making goods mainly for internal consumption, first of all rice, corn, haricot, vegetables, buckwheat and also meat and milk products began to develop more dynamically. There are several enterprises which are releasing concentrates of lead and zinc. The basis of the mining and processing industry is made generally by offices of foreign corporations on extraction of silver, gold and some of the ores. On the shelf of the Caribbean Sea intensive oil exploration is conducted. In the last two decades in the north of the country, free economic zones, where over 80 factories and shops on production of textile products, footwear, wear, electrotechnical goods, a wide range of products of the food and flavoring industry are located gain considerable development. Foreign trade. Export in 2017 aid. 17 billion dollars the main export goods coffee shrimps lobsters cigars bananas gold palm oil fruit and wood the main buyers the usa minus 34.5 percent germany minus 8.9 percent belgium minus 7.7 percent el salvador minus 7.3 percent the netherlands minus 7.2 percent Guatemala minus 5.2%, Nicaragua minus 4.8%. Import in 2017, $10.87 billion. The main import goods cars, various vehicles, chemical products, fuel and food products. The main suppliers, the USA minus 40. 3%. Guatemala minus 10.5%, China minus 8.5%, Mexico minus 6.2%, El Salvador minus 5.7%, Panama minus 4.4%, Costa Rica minus 4.2%. Armed forces of Honduras are completed at the call of Service life in army makes two years. 24 months. Military budget of $1,000. 2005. Regular armed forces of the country make people a reserve of people. Paramilitary forces. Force of national security. Minus people. Mobilization resources of one. 59 million people, including 869,000 people, fit for military service. 
the state TV company, CNE, includes the TV channel of the same name, the state radio company, Radio Nacional de Honduras, includes the radio channel of the same name. In Honduras, the Mexican drug cartels fighting for control over transit of cocaine from Colombia to the USA actively work. In 2009, the death toll in firefights of drug dealers reached 1,600 people. The main attraction of Honduras are ruins of a civilization of the Maya. In the Copan, one of the most ancient cities of the country, the remains of pyramids, ceremonial temples, steels remained. In the capital there is a national museum with a unique exposition of archaeological finds. Well so far. Write comments. Read comments. Interesting people will tell interesting stories. All of good mood and good luck.